my relationship with Jared was I met him in kindergarten. And he was one of the only kids who didn't kind of, you know, give me a shifty eye or anything like that. So uh, we were friends. I mean, lickety split. It was nothing. Me and Jared met in about uh, sixth grade. We were dancers together <laughs> in a competitive troupe. I think his favorite was probably jazz dancing, though we also did ballet and tap. I met Jared doing um, some of the local community musical theater stuff here in Lee Summit. Um, I believe it was seventh grade. Came into choir class, and I, I mean, elementary school is great, but then in junior high, I, you don't see any of your friends from elementary school. And I kind of sat in there, kind of off to the side, and then Jared came up. He was an outgoing person, and he just came up to me and started talking. Anyone who would uh, talk with him or give him the time of day, he would always just invest himself in. He loved to be around people and he loved people. Jared had, had one of those personalities where he just always had a smile on his face. You couldn't get the guy down. Jared was a free spirit. He was optimistic. He was never pessimistic. Before I met him, I really hadn't had many good friends. And I was kind of the loser to kind of just describe myself the kind of the, the kid who's made fun of in school and doesn't get along with people and uh, he kind of he helped bring me out of that made me more confident I was a I was quite an angry kid and he would never be and now it just kind of whenever I think about that my anger just kind of melts away Although, you know, I fought myself with maybe I wasn't always there for him when I could have been, but um, I do feel like he was always there for me if I ever wanted to talk to him or anything like that. Jared was probably, I felt at the time, the only person who listened to me and to what I was actually saying and was giving me, I don't know, the sort of attention that I needed. If I recall correctly, the accident occurred on a Tuesday afternoon. The, the fact that it happened on the corner about 500 feet from my house, I think impacted me more than anything. When I got there, it became real to me because I could see him and, you know, the breathing machine was um, still coming, so he was still kept alive by that, so he was still warm and I held his hand. One last time. I didn't really know that that organs were that useful. And I hear that he's don donating his organs, you know, his kidney, his heart, his liver going off to people. Weeks later, we're hearing about them and they're making full recoveries, and it was just incredible that Jared could still live on, and even after his death, he could still have an impact on the world. He literally saved the lives of other people because of the decision that Rick and Jerry made. It made me happy. It made me happy to know that my friend, even while, he, even while he's dead, is still saving people. <laughs>